okay here's an economy picking lick you can actually play listen i know how things can get crazy within the modern guitar realm like you know technique crazy things uh stuff like that but this time we're gonna actually look at something that you can actually play and you can approach and take with you to incorporate in your playing in an easier way and by the way make sure you check the links in the description for downloading the free tabs so you can follow along more easily all right let's get straight into it you heard the lick at the beginning basically i'm for me it's like I'm, I'm thinking c minor right c minor pentatonic and then i'm sort of using different arpeggio shapes within the c minor pentatonic scale and there is already a very interesting thing that you can try to understand and take out from this here's the thing with with licks if you're able to understand what's behind it what's behind the lick and it's thinking process then you're really getting the most value out of it because then you have ideas that you can use in your own way in different shapes different contexts different keys and that is actually what is going to expand your playing and that is actually how you incorporate those new ideas in your playing because if you just play a lick note for note you know you can play that lick and then you, know, you have maybe a cool technique exercise but you're missing out on the full picture right because if you're not understanding the, the concepts used in that phrase, it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to recreate the same sounds and at the same time use those sounds in different ways in different contexts. So what you should do is you should really try to go in depth anytime you find licks, solos, songs, you know, from other players uh, and like really dive deep and figure out what's going on. That's how you get the most value out of, you know, stuff like this. Let me walk you through my thinking process um, behind this particular phrase. So let me just play the whole thing. Like I said, thinking in C minor pentatonic. If we look at the first arpeggio, for instance, we can already look at this as a different chord within the same scale. Obviously we're using C minor pentatonic, but if we just take this set of notes here, if you really look at it, we have F, B flat, and C. If we interpret F as a root note, then we have one, four, five, right? So it's just an F sus four triad. And it is actually just one of the multiple sus four or sus two triads that you can find uh, within the pentatonic scale. And this is just on top three strings, but you, know, you can, like there's loads of them. Uh, especially if you down to like add some notes, like the ninth or the flat six. So there's really a lot of them. And if you're able to figure them out within each pentatonic shape, then all of a sudden you have way more colors to use within the same scale. Does that make sense? Now, instead of just thinking basic pentatonic scale, I can, I can think. I can sort of impose different chords and different sounds while still using the same notes of the scale. So I can still play on C minor. all of the sounds on the pentatonic scale feels and sounds way different right it it it, it sounds kind of like a different thing even though it's the same notes this is already a powerful concept that you can take out from this lick you can easily apply this to any other pentatonic scale just go and find all those sus4 and sus2 um triads basically within that that skill i really don't have a structured way of doing it i just like to take the intervals and figure out what set of notes fits in the penetrating skill if that makes sense so i just literally go one shape at a time okay so here i have these two for instance b flat sus4 c sus4 and i'm really just looking at the chord shapes right so if i'm then if i move here i would have this one if I'm keen on adding the flat six, which is fine in most cases. I also have this one, right? 
this one too if I want to add the ninth. And these two are the same as previously. And then you do the same on the other strings. So obviously it's a lot of work, but that's really how you get the most out of just one idea. And we're just at, we're just looking at the first four notes of the lick. There's still the rest of everything else to look at. So that's kind of the mindset that you got to get into if you want to really get value out of learning things like licks, solos, stuff like that. So let's continue and let's look at the, uh, the next phrase. And once again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to identify the intervals. And this time I want to think more like, a, uh, I think of this more like a C minor of some sort. Um, and once again, that's sort of dictated by the first note that I play. And also the fact that if you look at the chord, it's basically a C minor with the addition of the fourth. And so there you have it actually, that's that's the chord that, that we're using. It's pretty much just pentatonic scale, to be honest. We're just skipping just one note, the, the seventh. But, you know, it's pretty much the same thing. And then the other one from there... I kind of think of this as, a, as an E-flat 9. By the way, if, you, if you're struggling to, like, recognize uh, these chords as I as I talk and as, as and as I play them, try to again just think of the intervals and try to make sense of what you have in front of you, right? So if you have these notes, ask yourself, okay, what's the chord that possibly incorporates all these notes? That's how basically you find out. Okay, this is this could be a bunch of different things, right? So it could be a major third, second, root note, fifth. If you want to think of it as an E flat, it can also be in the context of C minor, fifth, fourth, minor third, seventh, and a bunch of different ways you can interpret it. So, but but that's the important thing. That's the the question is the important thing. So ask yourself, okay, what intervals do I have here, and how do I connect them to the main scale that, that I'm using. That's the key question that you got to ask yourself. So from here, then it's just C minor 7, so straight minor 7 arpeggio. And so as you can see, there's a lot of different chords and arpeggios that, you, that we're using here to make this lick. It's a simple lick if you play it. But if you actually go in depth and think, think about it, there's a lot of cool ideas that you can use in other ways. And then as far as technique, is actually pretty straightforward. It's just economy picking. So you really just want to emphasize or I guess focus on the economy of motion when you play this. So obviously pick just once per string. I mean, not obviously, but that's what I do. So... And again, just focus on maintaining the picking motion smooth as much as possible. And yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for today's video. Make sure to check the links in the description for the free tabs and a bunch of other free things that you can download and get access to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.